So here was the key step. Uh, you know, so ultimately, you see this UTN right there? The UTN that we have is kind of in some sense, we made it, right? We took our signal, threw a bunch of noise on it. We, we made that signal. But really, ultimately, in a real experiment, a real thing that you're trying to do, this is what you read in. This is your data. You brought in data. And it just looked like garbage. There's nothing you can make out of that. And what you want to ask, is there something there or not? Do I need to be looking there? So we're going to look at it and say, I already now have some information. So I want to make use of that information. So I want to build a filter. And uh, so let's talk about what kind of filter I might build. Well, there's all kinds of filters. If you pick up a signal processing book, go to the library. There's like a million of them. There's whole books on filter design. You know, make it a little bit like this, do like that, do like this. You know, you can get serious about this stuff. You can make a whole career of this. You can go to MIT Lincoln Labs, and this is all they do all day, all night. Okay? We're going to do this very basic filter, a Gaussian, because it's so easy to build. Okay? So first of all, let's build our filter. Filter. Here it is. And there's also a group called filter. Right? Undertow. No? You guys don't listen to music? Lame. All right. Filter. Seriously, nobody knows filter, the group filter? Come on. Seriously, you guys are that lame? Come on, Zach. You know them, right? Okay. I'm not, it's not even that I'm that old, okay? It's like 90s, mid 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> they were around. Okay, so that's, that's going to be part of your homework, I think. <laughs> Look up that group and, like, don't be lame. All right. So let's put a dot, 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 and let's also plot this filter. KS versus FFT shift of that filter. And we'll make the filter blue. So for right now, we're not going to do any processing. We're just going to plot what that filter looks like. There's my filter. See that filter right there? Look at that. What am I going to do with this filter function? So first of all, it's a Gaussian. I can change its width. I can make any filter I want, but a Gaussian is a simple thing. And so right now, what I'm going to do to get rid of everything else, what I'm going to do is just take that filter and multiply the blue by the magenta. And you know what? Most of it's going to be zero. Wherever I don't want signal, which I know is not supposed to live there, I multiply the two together, mostly zero. Awesome. Okay, so let's do that. Let's multiply these two together, see what the result is. We'll make it like green. And then we'll ask the question, what kind of signal do I get back out? Okay. Everybody good with this so far? All right. And feel free to suggest a color, <laughs> a MATLAB color that I can use. Like that's blue and green and red. Amazingly, they have like cyan. They don't have burnt umber. I guess they weren't talking to the uh, J. Crew people at the time they built their code. Um, but there we go. Let's, uh, let's build this filter. Here it is. And what I want to do then is just take this filter, make a new thing. So let's call it UTNF. It's not a university. It's, a, uh, it's, it's the transform of U, that's what the UT is, with noise and filtered. So I just say filter dot times UTN, the noisy signal. I'm done. And then I want to say, OK, let's, 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 uh, let's plot that. So uh, I'm going to plot this stuff, dot, dot, dot. And then I'm going to plot here. Um, and we'll plot this in green. And not UTN, but UTNF. OK? So now I'm plotting. Well, let's go ahead and do it. All right, there we go. So let me, let me uh, zoom in down here. All right, we have blue, magenta, and green. So the blue is my filter. The magenta is what I actually measured. It looks like junk. I multiplied it by this blue, and I got the green out. Okay, So the green signal is what I have left over. And what I want to ask is, when I filtered that thing out, do I, I'm going to make a, a decision. Through. I'm going to figure out, like I'm going to inverse Fourier transform this and see what I get. Now. Let's go back to this example here. 
let's say you're in this situation where you're going to decide to launch a rocket. You know that you've lost information. You have noise. This is not going to work perfectly. There is no way you're going to reconstruct that signal, ever. It's been tainted with noise, right? So the best you can hope for is to do a pretty good job, right? And in fact, what you really want to do is you want to say, if I'm going to do this, what I want to do is set a decision threshold where I'm pretty sure there's a signal or I'm not so sure there's a signal, OK? So if you remember from what we plotted, I had this thing coming in like this. And it went up to height one. And I might want to say, look, I'm going to set a decision threshold here. Any signal above that, I'm going to call that an airplane, an enemy plane. I'm going to launch a missile at it. Anything below that, I'm going to just say, well, it's just randomness or some other stuff. You have to set a decision threshold. Go, pain. All right. It's not even my mom calling. I don't know if you can hear the cell phone. It's usually my mom. I don't ever pick up. Is that bad? Don't tell her I said that. I mean, you guys, OK. All right. I'll, she'll never see these videos, so it's great. All right. All right. Uh, so there we go. We set the decision threshold here. Anything below, we'll say it's not a signal. Anything above is a signal. OK? So we, we have to make that decision ahead of time. Remember, you can never, from data, with noise, with stuff going on, ever really reconstruct perfectly. You just hope to do a really good job, if possible. And that's what we want to do here. OK, so let's go back to the computer then and ask how well did we do with this filter. So that's pretty easy to do. You just say, oh, I want the UNF, the noisy U with a filter that's filtered. That's just IF tip T of UTNF. You guys getting confused, confused yet? But all right, U is a signal, UT is a transforming signal. N is for the noise, F is for the filter. OK, there we go. So that's what we got there. And so I can actually plot that here in the first plot, which is to say, OK, now let's also plot T versus the absolute value of UT, UNF, UNF, U, University of Northern Florida. There we go. Uh, green It's my reconstruction. OK? All right, who thinks it's going to work? Nobody. Awesome. Ooh. Okay, you know what we're also going to do? We're going to normalize some stuff here. Um, actually, I don't want to do that. Let's just do this. Let's, let's leave it. And what I'm going to do here is uh, we want to set a decision threshold. I actually added way, probably way too much noise on this thing. So let, let's bring this down for a minute and let's just play around. Let's bring down the noise to 10. OK, now here's a question. Noise is 10, and actually the magenta, you can still see the signal a little bit there, right? Notice that there's this nice bump here. Now my original signal went from height 0 to 1. So maybe this is kind of like the amplitude of my signal that I expect back. I've normalized it. So I send out a pulse that has a certain amplitude, whatever that amplitude is. Maybe what I can decide is when I get back something, Maybe my threshold is half that amplitude. So I want to draw a decision line around, maybe if, if, if I've sent one, I'm going to draw it at half, 0.5, OK? So in fact, what I want to do is let's, let's get this out of here for now. And let's draw a decision line at half. Uh, t, and then we'll draw uh, t, 0 times t plus. A half. This is a kind of a hack way to do it, but fine. Uh, and there's my th decision line is a black line with dotted line. OK, so there's my threshold. OK, so I filtered. And my original signal was height 1. And what I pull out here is something there where I say, launch a missile, right? So I actually kind of pulled this 